Hello, thank you for joining me. Today's DIY, we're going to be using some Dollar Tree products and a package of the cider uh, shims that I purchased at uh, Lowe's. They come in a package of 42, uh, roughly about $6. So for this project, you're going to need one package of it. Just simply open them up. They come, um, their shims like to put under doors or walls to level them. So one of the sides is a little bit uh, thicker than the other side. So that's a big plus for the project that we're going to be making. If you see, I also purchased a smaller size of the shims thinking I was going to need them, but I didn't. So I ended up um, just using the one package of shims. So, um, what you're going to do, like I said, it comes in a package of 42. So what we're going to do is we're going to need 14, the length that they come in, 14 and 12 inches, 14 of them at 10 inches, and then the remainder of the pieces that you cut is gonna be five inches and eight inches. So you'll have 14 of five inches and 14 of eight inches. And um, I just used a little card, some uh, cardboard that I had, a poster board that I had left over to make a round circle um, just for the center so I can have something to glue the sticks to. And it's really easy to cut. I didn't even need to use a saw, I just used one of these little razors. So like I said, you use 14 at um, the size they come so they come in at 18 inches and then you're going to get 14 at 12 inches and that's what I'm doing there. And then you're going to cut um, 14 at 10 inches. And the pieces you cut, they'll be five inches and eight inches. So you'll have 14 of five inches and eight inches. <laughs> I'll list um, the, the sizes that I used down below. And you just simply just cut them off. And once you kind of score it, um, it's easy just to bend them and they'll cut off. They'll break off evenly. And I was just gonna show you here, you can do it with the saw, but my saw wasn't even sharp enough for me to cut it. So I just went back to the razor. <laughs> I know they sell saws at Dollar Tree. I just haven't purchased one. I don't know if they're good or not. If you guys have used them or do use them, and you like them, let me know in the comments below because um, I've been iffy about purchasing one, but I do need one. So those are the ones that I cut. If you can tell, I just wanted to show you the leftover pieces. Those are leftover and then there you go right there. And then what um, I did was I sanded them down um, all the edges just so I could have a cleaner cleaner edges um, just so it can look more polished I chose to paint them this uh, the ink color from Waverly I believe it was ink or elegant but I'll check to make sure and let you know that I'll list it down below but I decided to paint them and at first I had painted both sides but I um, after painting a few of them both sides I realized you're not going to see the back so I didn't want to waste my paint, so I ended up just painting the front side and all the edges. But that's totally optional. You can paint on both sides if you like. It didn't bother me to know that the back side wasn't going to be painted, like I said, if you don't see it. And this is um, what takes the longest of this project, it's just painting each one of these sticks. Okay, so once they're all painted and dried up, if you notice, I really didn't paint them uh, like perfect. I wanted that country look, so I like it the way it looked um, half painted, I guess, or like a dry brush, you could say. And then you just put glue or E6000, whatever you like. And what I did was I laid down the flat side of the shims uh, first. And then in between, I laid down the other shims, the thick side, um, glued onto the, the thinner side shims. So you basically, you're doing one, one side, the other, the opposite side. And you just continue to do that with all 14 of the sticks. 
this is a huge um, display, a huge picture for your um, your wall. It's huge. Uh, I was actually thinking of making three of them. The way I saw them at the store when I, I got inspired, there was three of them together, and it was um, over a bed. I'm using this one from my dining room, but um, I think I'm going to make three of them because it does make a huge impact and you really don't need anything else on that wall. Once you finish with the first row and you let them all dry, you go ahead and do the second row, which is the 12 inches, and you do it the same way. You first glue the thin one, the thin side down, and you skip, and then you glue another thin one down, and then in between um, the ones that you glued the thin side down first, you're going to make the thicker side and, and glue in between each one of the thin sides. For the first uh, project or idea I wanted to show you is this is where you finish. You don't have to use the extra pieces. You just use the 18 inch, I'm sorry, the 14 inch, 12 inch, and 10 inch. So you don't have to use any of the other ones. And then we're going to finish letting these dry. And then um, I placed a mirror that I purchased at Dollar Tree um, over it. And it looked really pretty. If I um, actually thought it would look really nice if you were to paint it gold, since the mirror that I put on top of it was gold. like that and it looks really pretty that would look really nice over a bedroom or in a hallway but uh, like I said I wanted it for the kitchen so I ended up using the 8 inch ones after I used the 10 and placed them the same way and then I did the 5 inch and then after I was done in the center I just wrapped around some jute twine and basically you just make it and wrap it around as big as you'd like if you're going to do it the way I did it And um, the glue sticks that I use is the Gorilla Glue, so it really, it holds really, really good. So I didn't have to use any E6000, I felt comfortable um, just using the hot glue, but you can also use E6000 if you're, you know, not comfortable or not sure about the strength of the hot glue that you're using. I wrapped it around a few times, um, but like I said, you can wrap it around as many times as you like. I think I wrapped it around about 20 times, so I made it pretty big. I do a lot of my DIYs at night. Um, I don't know what favorite time of the day or you guys have a favorite time of the day to do your projects, but mainly I do mine at night, 10, 11 o'clock at night is when I start doing my DIYs. That's the time I get inspired. <laughs> And there you go, you have your, your display. It's like a, I want to say a sun star or, or a flower, but here's another picture of the one with the mirror. And then I also did one with an oval mirror that I purchased at Dollar Tree. And then I decided to paint it white instead of leaving it the gray color um, with the Waverly chalk paint. I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY. Bye.